We're going to feature a firefighter. He's the assistant director of operations for the Ghana Fire Service. His mm -hmm. name is Joseph Forsen, and he's yeah. here with us. We're going to tell us all about what it's like being a firefighter. And again, if you have any questions for him, use the hashtag and the number. We'll be sure to ask him for you. Good morning. Good morning, madam. How are you? I'm doing great, and you? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining it's us. good to have you here. Thank you. All right. So how did you get into this, this uh, profession? Thank you very much, and thanks for uh, inviting us here to talk about fire service. Um, before one is um, enlisted into the fire service, there are requirements one has to go through. Um, first of all, you have to buy a form, and you fill in the form, goes with the requirements. Basically, you should be a Ghanaian. Now, even the ages used to be 18 to 25, but now it's 18 to 30. Mm. Okay. And then um, it should be your qualification. You have two levels. You have the regular and then the cadet. The cadet is for degree, for tertiary holders, okay. HNDs, and then for the regular, SSS, and then J, JSS, especially for drivers. Mm. If, if you are a driver, you should be driving for about 10 years. Mm. And with a license of license D and above, with 10 years, you'll be recruited. Mm. I joined with A-levels as at that time, okay. mm. and then I was recruited into the service. The service has its core mandate. Our, our, our training is geared towards making us have values for the job that we do. And our core values are you should be gallant, you should be observant, you should be loyal, you should be the austerity. I mean, you should, there are certain things that one needs to do. Mm. And then you should be sympathetic, persevere. And these are the core values the service will give you. Now, the question you ask, when I was introduced into the service, I had to go through six months training. And then the requirement for the, 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 the regular, like I said, maybe six credits with English and maths. If you are a science student, you have advantage. Mm. Because some of the courses that you run through, physics and chemistry of combustion, purely science, and then yeah. a little bit of mathematics. So I was from the science background. So I was able to you know, go through the course with ease. But I know that some of our colleagues were not mm -hmm. able to because of those who did arts and another subject. Yeah. We need to teach them. The and when you talk of chemistry of combustion, it's a, it's a lot. It talks about physics, talks about chemistry. Yeah. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. So one needs to be a Ghanaian. One needs to be physically fit and strong. And one needs to have a qualification, tertiary or SSS. Then you fill, apply, you fill a form and then you are recruited. Recruited, they will screen you. You have come with your qualifications yeah. to go through it. They will screen you based on your qualification that you brought. Mm -hmm. Now it's even simpler. When you buy the form on the, on the it's now electronic. Mm -hmm. Just fill it in. If they say the height is uh, for men, it is uh, um, 1.75. And your height is not 1.75. Mm -hmm. When you say 1.75, when you come to the you screening, it, yeah. you will see, oh, you said 1.75 <coughs> and your height is not 1.75. That one automatically uh, you have to go out. So the screening process now is very easy. Mm. Okay. So you have to go through screening and then medical checkup. Because the job is not easy. So way back then, science students, yeah. you could have decided to become a doctor, an engineer. Yeah. Why firefighter? Oh, uh, well, the love for the job. What did you love about it? It's like... Before you entered. I see, I see every fireman as a hero. Okay. Yeah. Because whilst everybody is running away from a situation, mm, you're running too. Sometimes you will see, excuse me, you will see even animals running away from the situation. But you see a poor fireman with a tender running towards the situation. And the motivation you have is the moment you put the situation to normalcy, you, can, you have some feeling, especially when lives are saved. You see that you have some, 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 some sound, some, some happiness in you. Mm. That one is, is something that every fireman had to go through. And that is, the, that is what made me join the fire service. Initially, I was a footballer. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, I was a footballer. I played football for some time. And then I got hurt. Ah. So when I got hurt, I said, oh. And somebody introduced me, oh, Kofi, why don't you join fire service? Because I know you are good. I know you are brainy. You can even rise up to the ranks. I said, okay, fine. Then I started reading books about fire service, not in Ghana, but outside. Mm -hmm. And I realized that somewhere, because they called them heroes. I said, why do they call these people heroes? And when I watch videos on firefighting, I realize that, yes, 
This is something that one needs to do to help his nation. But That's heroes wear capes. And in Ghana, sometimes the firefighters, they don't even have all the resources they need to be the heroes that they are destined to be. Well, you know, civilization and then the, change, the trend of you know, development. Early stages, we were not even using protective clothing, protective gears like BA set and other things. When I say BA set, it is a respiratory protection that protects you from mm -hmm. getting into smoke food room yeah. and then mm -hmm. fight your fire. But because of you know, the, the changes in life and the advancement of technology, the toxic fumes that you experienced from years ago, it is not the same toxic fumes you are using. Therefore, protective gears came up. Mm. Now, the protective gears is for every fireman. Mm. And in our appliances, we have the protective gears in there for, for the firemen to use. Now, sometimes you need to go to certain areas with the protective gears. Sometimes you can do it because it's not so hazardous. Mm -hmm. But currently, the chief officer has gotten, a, 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 I think, a, 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 somebody's trying to supply us with the PPEs. And his target is one firefighter to one PPE. Mm -hmm. What we have now, it is for the, 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 the crew. Yeah. The crew are made up of seven, sometimes eight, in the appliance. Okay. Okay, so when they are going, you have the PPEs in there. But of course, it is not enough. Because you need to wear it, somebody have to wash it, and later on, if somebody wears it. And look at the situation we are in now. Yeah. So it is very Dangerous. difficult. Yeah. But we are making a headway. I am with the operations department. We are having a, a consignment, and it is, it is, the, what is coming is very good for everybody. Mm -hmm. okay. What has been um, some of the, the, the most exciting days for you at work? When you, you came back from... The, work that day you thought to yourself today I've really enjoyed being a firefighter thank you it's, 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 they are, they are, I can't count it but I can give you two experiences good let's, let's hear that the, the, the recent explosion at um, Atomic okay mm -hmm. I am staying at Sakumono Estate mm. it was around 7.30 in the evening and I saw the flame in like a day like yeah. daytime and I told my wife, I have to attend, attend to this fire because at where I am, my position, I need to be at the fire ground. So I picked my vehicle, started going. When we were going, mm. when I was going, I realized that people were even telling me, don't go there, all cars are so I won't want it because I was not using a service vehicle. Yeah. I was using my private vehicle. Mm. So I ah, Jack, why? Don't you see everybody is running away from the situation? I said, yes, that is my job. Let me go there. We were there. The reason why I'm saying this is there was a BRV standing by, which eventually we had to uh, discharge the contents to another BRV. And then later on, we have to let the gas escape. If that one has exploded, mm. I will be here to talk about fire service. Wow. We stood there for more than 48 hours. Wow. Cooling that BRV. Hmm. When I go to my, you know, I will cast my mom and say, hey, God, you are good. Wow, this one is something that I will never forget. Yeah. When you are facing uh, such fires, gaseous fires, and you can hear the sound of the container, mm -hmm. if, the the, if the leakage is out and you can hear from the leakage, you will know that this container is going to explode wow. by how you are being trained. Yeah. Because something blevy, boiling, liquid, expands, vaporizes, and then explodes. Mm -hmm. And now, when it is about to explode, you will see it is like jet a plane coming to take off. Mm -hmm. You know, when they are going to take off, a taxi, who, when they, they, are, they want to gain heat, then the sound changes. Exactly what, that's how gas behaves. And at that instant, it was behaving like that. Wow. So I told my colleagues, Jack, the two of us are here. We are going to, many a times people say we go to fire ground without water. I think. Yeah, that's, yes. a, that's the notion. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it will come up. I know it will come up. At that time, we were cooling the tank. Uh. We were cooling the tank. Okay. And then sometimes, whilst you are replenishing, going to pick up water and come and continue your work, yeah. there's a tendency, or there's a light to do that. Where you are picking the water, yeah. you may not get a constant flow of water. Okay. So by that time, our men were on the, fire, uh, the uh, hydrant trying to pick water. Mm. The one that we were using also got finished. Mm. Yeah. And they were looking, combing around for hydrants. Okay. 
So I said, I started calling them, whatever, if you have half tank, come bring, bring, bring it. it. Yeah. If you have even quarter, bring it, because the situation we are in yeah. is very dangerous. Lo and behold, two tankers came okay. with half tank and were able to call it to bring it down. Wow. So I'm going to go to myself, wow. Another one is Tema uh, Tor. Mm. Mm. But then I was in uh, Tema. When I was, we, were, we were going to fire drones, everybody was running away, mm. coming towards this direction. Everybody, even fowls <laughs> and goats and everything was... And the fire had already started. It had started. Okay. But my point is there are these ammonium cylinders. And when one explodes, the radius at which you're going to cover, whether you are there or not, you'll be affected. Hmm. Oh. So why don't you, it's like a form of sacrifice, go there and put the situation into normalcy. So we went there. <laughs> Two people by then died. They were not firemen, but they were tall workers. One was called Forsen. I was standing right by the one called Fossum. Wow. So, later on, my boss said, hey, Kofi, where you are, it's dangerous. He'll say, let's prevent this from spreading towards the ammonia cylinders so that all of us will be safe. And God being so good, we able to put it out. Mm -hmm. So when we came, two days, three days, hmm. I wasn't able to sleep. I was still thinking, thinking about, about how yeah. the situation is. And you see, when it, when it happens like that, at the end of the day, you feel some joy and happiness in you that you have saved a lot of life. Hmm. That alone is our motivation. Yeah. So there are young people watching us who may want to go into the service. Can you tell us what makes a great fireman or woman? Yeah. First of all, you know, there was something we called um, intuition. God has mm. given it to everybody. I would say instinct. Mm. In any situation, let your instinct tell you that this is what you need to do and do it. If your instinct tells you don't do it, don't do it. So first and foremost, my small boy, my, my, my our last born, Fifi, he said he, want to, he wanted to be a doctor. So anytime they are doing career, they, they put on, you know, with the yeah, stethoscope and then the white gown, everything. I was admiring him. Then later on, he said, this, this time around, he didn't ask for fire, but he went for military you know why? You know we why? went to fire at Tama, mm -hmm. tank farm. I said tank farm. Where yes, the fuel tanks are. Yeah. By that time, my wife was not around. I was with him in the house, and there was a fire call. I had to go. Mm -hmm. So I said, Fifi, let's go. So I drove him to the fire ground. I positioned my vehicle 150 meters from the flame. Yet my boy was feeling the flame in the vehicle. Wow. So when I, you know, I had to check on him, yeah. because I don't know anybody there, so I just locked him in the vehicle. It is yeah. not safe, though, yeah. but from the situation, at least. So any time I go to him, ah, daddy, even here, feel I'm it. feeling the heat. Mm -hmm. What about you? So yeah, when you are going, do you wear anything? So, you know, you know I'm wearing PP, I'm wearing some protective clothing. What about your hands? What about your face? So we have a way of going about it. I think that scared him. Yeah. So he's not having the Desire. Edge, the desire to join this because of what he has seen. But, like I said, people also admire, like young ones, they admire. When they see you, say, I want to be a fireman. I want to be at my church, uh, 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 children, my, my brethren, children. When they see you, say, I want to be a fireman. So it is the love that one has to hmm. get before one can enter. But you have the love for it. Yeah. No matter how difficult the situation is, once you have the love, and once the love is there, you will do it to the utmost of your capability. But if the love is not there, maybe it's by virtue of the fact that there's no job, you just jump in. Mm. You see that you do it like a desicale. Mm. And when you do that, there will be nothing good coming. Wherever you are, you do it as unto God. Whatever good you do, do answer to God. So me, maybe by virtue of what I read from the heroes, and that enabled me to join the service. But for up and coming people, it is the love that you have for the job that can yeah. let them. The the uh, maybe later we need to get you to come and show us how, um, as a, in case of a fire situation, you know how we can do like first response before when we, we before we call whilst we're waiting for the fire service to come in, yeah. you know. And so we don't have enough time to do that today. But I wanted to ask you a quick question: How do you feel about people who deliberately start fire? Awesome. It's a malicious act. Yeah. And definitely, my, my office, we are with the investigation. 
and then the operations. Mm -hmm. There are lots of fire investigation reports that we need to do, we write. And any time we come across arson, we forward it to police to mm -hmm. further the investigation mm -hmm. because we don't have the mandate to, to, to arrest. Yeah. Yeah. But arson yeah. is, is, is a criminal offense. Yeah. What about if, prank calls? Hmm, prank calls. <laughs> you prank get a lot of them still. I am telling I would like to also to invite you yeah. to our control Operation room. room. <laughs> and then we hear the number of prank calls. Wow. That's Somebody terrible. will call you. Your voice is so sweet. My heart is burning. Let me talk to you so that I can pull my heart. Ah. Wow. I said, we have to invite you to come to our control room. Maybe one or two of you can come there. Mm -hmm. Just spend about three, four minutes and you hear the number of a day, if right. I'm not mistaken, Goodness. if I'm not mistaken, almost about 20,000 prank calls. Because that. the console doesn't rest. Yeah. Before, beep, 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 then you pick. Then, so it's about, about four or five consoles. So yeah. almost every now and then, there's a call. Wow. And prank calls, you know, prevent us from getting the response time well. Yeah. Because if somebody's house is burning, mm. and there's a call coming, and there's a prank call on it, yeah. it's like they will queue. Yeah. So while they are queuing, the fire will not wait for you. Yeah. None of us can stand here when you allow fire to wait for three minutes. Mm. None of us can stand here. Mm. And once the fire starts, it will spread. Yeah. So once it is spreading, any combustible material is heated up so the fire will spread faster. Yeah. It takes time for the fire to spread, to start. But when it starts and gains heat, it is quicker spreading. Yeah. So when somebody is calling and there's a prank call, maybe two or three queuing, by the time the call comes through, oh, wow. there's this place... Maybe two or three minutes yeah. has gone. Yeah. And then we also dispatch our men to yeah. go. So our, our, our response time, the current chief officer is saying that he is making every effort that our response time will be between eight to ten minutes, mm. depending on the, the position of the, yes. The fire but because of prank calls, sometimes yeah. it, it will queue in such delay. a way that it will delay the time. I think we you should come back another day I to address so. this issue so, so people will know the Let's implications talk about of the, 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 the syndrome. Actions. Yes, so we'll have another I day think we need to do another where we'll address show. all so of these. But thank you so much, Joseph Kofi Forsen, for being with us here. You guys are the real superheroes of this country, and we are really, really proud of the work that you do. He's the Assistant Director of Operations at the Ghana National Fire Service. So please stop the prank calls and, and let's get them all the resources yeah. they need to protect all of us. Hi there, we hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.